arcade heroes. It's time to become a Master of Mystery in Houdini Master of Mystery by American Pinball. And like the colorful playfield, this game had a colorful development history. Originally started off as a John Popaduke game and switched over to Joel Bowser. But as you can see, um, it's got some interesting changes from your normal pinball machine. Instead of rule cards and whatnot, it shows the performance features, which are the main aspects of the game for the history of Houdini himself. And so this has a little bit of a theater of magic vibe. Interesting things that the game does in talking to you, but you know, overall you are trying to unlock the many mysteries of the master illusionist Houdini, or magician, I don't know which one it should be called. But this is a pretty detailed game, and one that after a few plays I found that I really enjoyed was... Uh, of the of the two American pinball machines, so this and Oktoberfest, I found myself preferring this one for whatever reason, maybe just the theme, but also exploring the various modes and whatnot. Maybe I just played it a, a little bit better than <laughs> I played Oktoberfest. But uh, here's one example on the 15.6 inch screen of a video mode where you flip the cards through the hoops. Of course, this did take a little bit of practice and the way that the, the speed that the cards flew was a little slow, but you know, once I got the hang of it, I guess I got a decent score on that, although I think I missed most of the hoops. But it's always nice to have video modes with pinball machines, especially where all of the pins out there these days have a full color LCD screen, or I guess most of them are still a couple out there that I guess still use uh, monochromatic displays like Thunderbirds. That's still just nice to have more video modes, little video games built into the pinball machine, and not ignoring that video aspect. Of course, one disadvantage of that was uh, didn't have time to move my camera back down and hit the flipper button to keep that ball going, but oh well. So this one, it is a little bit of a challenge for a pin. It does launch the pinball up into the kind of middle center area there, and there's three targets that you can hit for a skill shot. Of course, you can go beyond those, depending on how you do it. There's also a theater there where you have a screen above that, and it'll have a curtain that opens and closes, and there's a... Um, scoop shot in there I think it is. Uh, it ramps. I, I like the pop bumper locks there, the chain locks. Uh, it also has a, a ball launcher so you see that little urn looking thing in, on the left hand side. If you get the right shot into there it can launch the ball 20 inches from there into the trunk in the upper left hand corner and so that's a pretty cool thing. I can't recall if I got the shot in this or not but overall very colorful game and lots to explore. It's only two flippers uh, the three pop bumpers I think it is the two ramps uh, the video mode and there's a lot of other magician modes and multi balls and things of that nature a lot of things dealing with the history of Houdini, which, to be honest, I'm not an expert on. I haven't read into him in a long time, so I forgot things that I had heard. But uh, overall, I found this an enjoyable game, and especially for the first game from American Pinball. I mean, oftentimes people have a good reason to doubt that the oh there we go there's the launch for the there we go yeah so i did get that on film <laughs> so that's always a fun shot when you have something like that that works consistently every time and i think i was able to get it a few times as i played and so yeah just a nice fun shot to get but 
yeah, if you don't know much about Houdini, then this game teaches you everything you need to know. It seems to go through a lot of his history, and that's fine. It uh, fits the theme, and again, kind of has a little bit of a theater of magic vibe to it, which that's a game I enjoy. And so I liked this one as well, so I'm not sure how many of these are out there, how common they are, but uh, hopefully you won't have to do too much searching to find one. It's a nicely detailed game. As far as I'm aware, they don't do uh, pro and limited and collector's edition machines with American pinball. It's just all one model, which is always kind of nice to not 100% sure on the price tag, I don't recall, but I would say it's below the normal or around the normal Sturm premium price and below the, uh, the Jersey Jack premium price as well. So uh, pretty competitive and again, nice, especially for the very first game in their lineup. And here's how the high score table works once I hammer figured out there but yeah overall just if you do come across this one give it a spin it's fun and so that's Houdini Master of Mystery as seen at IAP Expo 2019 from American Pinball thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video